Welcome back to PSC Tech Byte. This week we will talk about yet another new capability introduced under preview with SharePoint Framework 1.7. And in particular, we will talk about the single web part uh, page uh, capability. In fact, uh, with uh, the latest release of SharePoint Framework, you can now create uh, pages in modern sites, uh, which can be uh, made of a single web part, uh, which are really, really useful whenever you want to create uh, such a kind of uh, single page application based on a client side web part built uh, with SPFX. In order to do that, uh, you have uh, to create a modern page, uh, whether in a communication site or anything site, uh, and you can do that uh, using uh, the web UI of SharePoint Online or PowerShell or uh, uh, the PMP provisioning engine. You will have to provision one single web part uh, inside that page, and then uh, using PowerShell uh, or some code, uh, you have to configure the page layout type of your page uh, with the value of single web part app page. Once you will update the page, you will be able to see your single web part page uh, in action. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that. This is a communication site in which I can create a custom modern page, which will be an article in my communication site. So let's create it as a blank page. I can call it my custom page. I can save it as a draft and I can edit it back uh, in order to add uh, a web part uh, to the page. As I said, you need to have uh, just and only one web part in the page. Uh, so for example, it can be the site activity one. And once I've done that, uh, I can save or publish again uh, my page. What is interesting is the name of my page, which will be useful in the PowerShell in order to get a reference to that page. So I will connect to the target uh, site providing my credentials and so my username and my password. And I can get a reference to the page based on the page uh, file name using the get PMP list item command left. Once I've done that, I can see that the page layout type for the page just created uh, is article, but I can update it to single web part uh, app page and I can update and execute the query for the client side of the model uh, that I'm using through PowerShell. Once I've done that, uh, if I go back to my modern page in the communication set and I refresh, uh, we will see that the page now is fully uh, made by the client side web part we added uh, and the whole body of the page uh, is uh, made uh, of the client side web part. We can do exactly the same thing using a, a team site, a modern team site, uh, the difference will be that in a modern team site, we will still have the quick launcher menu on the left, uh, while in a communication site, we have the whole body uh, made by the client side web part. But aside from that, uh, you can always create uh, a full page uh, made uh, of a single client side web part to provide a fully uh, immersive experience for your end users. As usual, thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it useful and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.